Start investing in gold and silver at sdbullion.com today and join over 35,000 precious metals investors who have made the switch to the lowest gold and silver prices in the industry. SD Bullion recently claimed a spot on the prestigious Inc. 500, making them one of the fastest growing bullion companies in the United States. With low bullion prices and over-the-top customer service, SD Bullion is setting the standard for precious metals transactions. Visit www.sdbullion.com today. Start saving on every precious metals purchase you make. Hey everyone, this is Elijah Johnson with your Midweek Metals Report. It's March 15th, 2017, and the jawboning is over. The Fed has hiked interest rates 25 basis points for the third time in 15 months. In a classic example of buy the rumor, sell the news, the dollar, dollar yen pair, and 30-year treasury bonds sold off hard. With the rate hike fully priced in, Janet Yellen failed to scare the markets that any further rate hikes are on the imminent horizon. Gold and silver jumped on the news, with both metals placing big bullish crosses. Gold prices surged through the resistance back over 1200 right through the 100-day moving average at 1211 and continued all the way to 1223 Silver prices jumped nearly 50 cents from early Wednesday trading, with silver also moving through its 100-day moving average at 1722 to a last of 1740 the dollar-yen pair is breaking down, fueling the move in gold and silver prices, and the U.S. dollar index is testing its support at 100. The last two rate hikes by the Fed triggered multi-month rallies in gold and silver prices. While it's a bit early to call a bottom, and we would certainly like to see continuation through Thursday's session, it appears that the commercials and their all-time record silver shorts may have a problem. As for the news, FBI Director James Comey said he will testify publicly this Monday regarding Russian hacking in the U.S. elections. Trump's tax returns are back in the news, and Hillary Clinton ally David Brock is offering a $5 million reward for Trump's complete legally obtained tax returns. Trump will nominate Goldman Sachs banker James Donovan as Deputy Treasury Secretary. Donovan will be the third person in Trump's administration to have worked at Goldman Sachs. Trump met with Saudi Deputy Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. One of the things discussed was Trump's new travel ban. According to a statement by the Saudi Prince's senior advisor regarding the meeting, the Saudi Prince did not believe the travel ban was targeting the religion of Islam. He believes Trump is a true friend of Muslims and that the ban is rather aimed at preventing terrorists from entering the U.S. The statement also read that the Saudi Prince believes the media has created an unfair portrait of Trump and has quoted him out of context. Make sure to stay tuned on Friday for the SD Weekly Metals and Markets Wrap. I'm Elijah Johnson, signing off.